In this video, we're going to talk about a new scaling tool that we added to our website that's free to use for anybody. And it's perfect when you've got to take a puzzle pattern and scale it up to match your material thickness. Before we get started, if you like this video, please hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more videos and be notified as soon as we post a new one on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button below. Okay, so this project that we're doing is actually from Make CNC. So if you've never been to their website, I would seriously check it out. It's makecnc.com. Uh, they have thousands and thousands of different uh, puzzles, uh, CNC puzzles, files that you can buy. And, and they're relatively inexpensive. I mean, $5, $8.95. Uh, when you consider the level of information they give you, including a DXF files scaled to different sizes, plus a full uh, instruction manual that's usually in color, it's, uh, it's, a, it's quite the value. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're working on this T-Rex dinosaur, and uh, we downloaded that uh, file from them, and we got it as a DXF. So now when I'm in Vetrix VCar Pro, I have my sheet set up here, which is 48 by 96, which is a full 4 by 8 sheet. And the thickness of my material, when I measured it with calipers, even though it's half inch plywood, it actually measures out to 0.453 inches. Now, why that's really important is on a lot of these puzzles, you end up with pieces that have to fit within other pieces, such as these squares right here on the base. So there's going to be uh, matching segments, right, like right here, this tab right here, has to fit perfectly into the these squares in the base for the model to stand up. So if I didn't measure the thickness of the material and I just went ahead and said it was a half inch, then what's going to happen is this hole is going to be a lot larger than this tab is, and it, the model is going to go together very loosely. So I want a nice snug fit on all the pieces. Uh, the other issue you have is if it's too small. So in other words, if you say it's a half inch, but your material measures slightly larger, then the pieces won't fit at all. So the best thing to do here is we're going to use the scale tool. So I can, I can basically select all of these DXFs. Now, when I open this file up, they gave me two versions of this file, a uh, three millimeter and a one eighth inch. So I am using the one eighth inch one here. And the one way to check that is if we use the measuring tool and we measure this opening from here to here, it, sh it measures 0.125 inches. Okay, so this is scaled for 1 8 inch thick material. Now, you're, this, this is a really handy tip and tool because if you ever do a puzzle, I guarantee you, unless you're using something like aluminum or, or plastic that is very specific to the, the thickness that it says it is, wood will vary if you're going to do these out of wood. So you'll always need to scale it slightly to ensure that you have a nice, tight, snug fit. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm just going to highlight everything, and I can go over here to the Set Selected Object Size tool. Now, it's right now I'm looking at this at 100%. Now, the problem is, is I know that my, my, this is set for material that's one eighth of an inch. And I know that my thickness of my wood is 0.453. So the question is, how do I, what, what's the scaling factor that I increase it to? So it has to be some percentage. And I've been out of school for a long time. So I don't, I'm not very good with that math off the top of my head, but no worries we actually created a scale calculator. So if you go to stepcraft.us forward slash scale, you're going to get this project scale calculator. So all you need to do is type in the original thickness. So this, the model itself is imported to 1 8 inch. Enter the desired material thickness, which in this case is 0.453, and click calculate. It's going to now give me a percentage of 362.40. So I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to go back into Vetric and I'm going to put that number in here. So the from the per scale percentage is going to be 362.40. I want to make sure link XY is selected so it expands everything uniformly. I just click apply. Now everything was made significantly larger. Okay. Now just to double check to make sure that it did the job correctly. All I need to do is locate a square opening. So again, we'll use this one on the base. We'll go to the measure tool 
and we'll measure the width of this slot. So if we measure from there to here, I've got a distance of 0.453, which is exactly the thickness of my wood. So if you want to scale it slightly larger to get kind of a loose fit, a looser fit, you can do that. Uh, I happen to know that I'm using uh, cabinet grade plywood and I, I know that if I keep this accurate, the parts are going to fit nice and snug uh, so much so that I probably won't even have to glue it. So anyway, this is a kind of a quick tip and it's a tool on our website that is available to anyone. Just again, stepcraft.us forward slash scale. And you can use this scale calculator for anything you want. All you need to know is the desired measurement, uh, the, the actual measurement and the desired measurement, and it'll always give you a scale percentage. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you.